As promised, I have a very special review for you celebrating 100 subscribers on this channel. Let's go! Hi there and welcome to this very special review to celebrate 100 subscribers on this channel. And for the occasion I have a very nice model to show you. I have for you the KLM 787-10 in the special 100 years livery. I really thought this would be suiting for a 100 subscribers special video. And as I said, this is not a 1 to 500 model, this is a 1 to 200 scale model. So we can expect loads and loads of small details. So I'm hyped, let's dive into it. And as per the usual, we will start at the front at the cockpit section where we can see the cockpit windows, they look quite nice. We have the window wipers as well and just above the cockpit windows, we have the last two letters of the registration code which in this case is Kilo Alpha. And we also have some very nice detailing with the ray dome and above the cockpit we also have an emergency hatch. Then when we move on to the side we can see loads of small details, pitot tubes, sensors, the whole array you would need as a pilot. But besides that, we also have a SkyTeam logo next to the cockpit windows. Underneath that, we have the Air France KLM branding. On the other side of the passenger door, we have the name of the aircraft, which in Dutch is saying Oranje Bloesem, or in English, Orange Blossom. And then here we can very nicely see the special 100 years KLM logo, which looks quite nice on the Dreamliner, but there was a little bit of critique from some aviation fans that it would look like a Aquafresh commercial or something. And for those of you who don't know, Aquafresh is a toothpaste brand here in the Netherlands. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else, but just so you know. And also we can nicely see on top of the fuselage some very nice details. For example, the anti-collision beacon, which is that little red dot, which is 3D. And we have some small fins and we have a sat dome, which looks really nice. Now we can take a look at the engines which really look good if you ask me. We have the KLM branding, we have some nice red markings, warning for jet blast. We have the very nicely looking silver leading edge. And when we look into the engines, we can see the engine fan blades really nicely and we can even see a spinner on the center of the engine. And here we can also see another very nice detail which we wouldn't have on most 1 to 500 scale aircraft but we can luckily find always on 1 to 200 scale aircraft which are the landing lights. It's a very nice detail to have on any aircraft model. And we can also of course take a look at the back side of the engine where we can see the nicely made Chevron nozzles. I really like the look of that. And overall the physical detailing on these engines are just great. And then moving on to the wings with the top side, we can see the different flaps, slats, spoilers and ailerons carved out really nicely and we have the markings as to where to walk on the wing. And it even says very tiny, the warning itself, which is a very nice detail and they pulled it off really nicely here. And then for the underside, we can see the different flaps, slats and ailerons once more and we have the full registration code of the aircraft. Then moving on to the back side with the vertical stabilizer which we have the KLM branding on it. Then on the fuselage we have the full registration code of the aircraft, the Dutch flag, the European flag and the aircraft type specification. And just underneath the cheat line we have the writing of the Flying Dutchman which is the slogan of the company. And just besides that we have a small cargo door which is the cargo door to the bulk hole. And on top of the fuselage we again have some nice small fins. And then when we also take a quick look at the horizontal stabilizer, we can again see the markings as to where you can walk on these wings. And of course also here at the rear we can take a look at the APU exhaust which is detailed really greatly here if you ask me. And then of course moving to the other side of the aircraft we can see the remaining cargo doors here at the back of the aircraft and here at the front. But before we move on to the conclusion, I would like to talk about the landing gear. In fact, this landing gear of this aircraft is 1. Rollable and 2. Can be taken off as they are applied to the model with magnets. And you even have the option to get those landing gear doors closed. As these small parts are provided with the model. So you can choose do you want this aircraft in flying mode on its stand or with its landing gear down. Which is quite a nice option to have. 
And talking about the stand, of course this is included with this aircraft model. And it has some very nice plates showing the KLM 100 years logo and the aircraft type specifications. Alright, so that's it for this beautiful Boeing 787-10 from KLM in the special 100 years livery. In scale 1 to 200, made by in-flight 200, which I forgot to mention at the start. And I must say, this is a true beauty. I think it's actually one of the best models I would have in my collection. It has tons of details, it is beautiful to look at. Everywhere you look, you just discover more details the longer you look at it. So of course, yes, I would recommend this one, but you do need quite of a bit of a budget as this model can go between 120 and 130 euros. But then again, you get a lot of details for it, it's beautiful, it's big and it's made out of metal as well. So what else can you wish for? I think it's worth every cent that you pay for it. Okay, so that's it for today for this 100 subscriber special video. If you liked it, you can show that by leaving a like down below, that would be awesome. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, you might want to consider subscribing. That would be awesome as well. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future reviews, you can leave it in the comments below and I will see what I can do. And with that, I want to say thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time.